Let's start by putting x minus 1 equal to u. Therefore, as x tends to 1, u tends to 0. Therefore, the given limit is equal to limit u tending to 0, square root of 1 minus cos 2u divided by u. This can be written as limit u tending to 0, root of 2 times sine squared u divided by u, which is equal to limit as u tends to 0, root 2 times modulus of sine u divided by u. Now we first determine whether this limit exists, evaluating the limit from the right hand side first, limit u tending to 0 from the positive side, root 2 modulus of sine u upon u. Now since u is positive, modulus of sine u is equal to sine u. Therefore, this limit is equal to limit u tending to 0 from the positive side, root 2, sine u upon u. Now, sine u upon u tends to 1 as u tends to 0, and therefore the value of this limit is equal to root 2. Again, evaluating the limit as u tends to 0 from the negative side, limit u tending to 0 from the negative side, root 2, modulus of sine u upon u, now when u is negative, sine u is negative and therefore modulus of sine u is equal to minus sine u. Therefore this limit is equal to limit u tending to 0 from the negative side minus root 2 times sine u upon u. Again as u tends to 0, sine u upon u tends to 1 and therefore the value of this limit is equal to minus root 2. Therefore the limit of root 2 times mod sine u upon u as u tends to 0 from the positive side is not equal to the limit of root 2 times mod sine u upon u as u tends to 0 from the negative side. It therefore follows that limit of root 2 times mod sine u upon u as u tends to 0 does not exist, which implies that the given limit extending to 1 square root of 1 minus cos of 2 times x minus 1 upon x minus 1 also does not exist, which is the required answer.